It's Vlogtober day 12. Hello travelers, welcome back to my channel if you're subscribed and if you're new, welcome to the world of Wiss. I'm Wiss and I hope that you do stick around and subscribe to become part of my world. First and foremost, please disregard my voice. Today I am bringing some tips for my new hire flight attendants. Um, I know a lot of you all have just gotten on the line, um, whether it be with X, Y, or Z airlines. So these are some tips that I have accumulated throughout the years um, and some that were passed on to me and some that I passed on but wanted to pass on to my platform. So without further ado, just ensure that you are subscribed and we're going to hop right into the video. All right, so my first new hire flight attendant tip would be to ensure that you have a specific ringtone for scheduling. Depending on what airline you are um, starting off with, you may or may not be on reserve. And you know that if scheduling call you while on reserve, you can't miss their phone call. You got to be up and ready to answer their phone call. And I know certain airlines, they give you like um, a certain amount of time to be able to call them back. But... I just did not miss scheduling this call because the last thing that you want is an empty, aka a missed trip on your schedule or whatever it may be. So just ensure that you have um, a specific ringtone for scheduling and also ensure that you have like a great cell service, wherever you may be. Always check that you, you know, got your, you know, service right. I know certain cities, certain towns, um, they don't have the best service, you know, and certain parts of the airports, if you're sitting um, airport standby, don't have the best service. So just ensure that you have service at all times and you have a specific ringtone for scheduling. Do not fall asleep with your phone on silent or vibrate. No, 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 especially when you're on reserve. You you don't want to play them games. My next new hire flight attendant tip would be to ensure that you have a at home and a layover and aircraft routine. So I'm going to get into all of that. This at home routine is what you do as soon as you come home from a trip or before leaving out for a trip, whether it be unpacking your bags, doing laundry, giving yourself time to go grocery shopping, to meal prep, um, ensuring that you have all your required items for work, ensuring that your license um, or your wallet or your passport is in your bag, ensure that you may have to like write down a list of things to do. I'm like a big list person. Like if I don't have a list, I'm going to forget something. So I always ensure that I have a list for at home, um, to ensure that I have everything that I need for on the road. Um, having a hotel routine helps you to not leave anything behind in your hotel room. So um, I have just started to grasp onto this concept, but it's, it has helped me so much and it has saved me lots and lots of money. Okay, so when you go to your hotel, ensure that you are placing things in the same spot each and every time so for instance i usually leave my lunch box near the fridge to ensure that i don't leave my food behind um, i hang up my uniform and i leave my cardigan um, my stockings my undergarments all there together so i can get ready in the morning um, i leave my uh my toiletry bag in the bathroom um just so i have everything together i plug all my electronics in the same area so i don't forget anything and I double and triple check before walking out of my hotel room that I have everything. Check between the sheets, check behind the pillows, check under the bed, check in the closet, check behind the curtains, check, check, check. Because the moment that you don't check and you in a rush, that's when you forget something. Chargers are not cheap. I mean, you can buy a cheap one, but then you're going to have to replace it like quickly. So just ensure that you double triple quadruple track i have a specific aircraft routine to ensure that i do not drop the ball anywhere so when i get on the plane the first thing that i usually do is put my bags up once i have my bags up because y'all know it's a constant struggle trying to get my overpacked bags in these bins um i go ahead and do my pre-flights i wipe everything down and i ensure that i'm doing my pre-flights thoroughly because the last thing that you want to do is bypass like an emergency emergency equipment or bypass um, something that is critical to have on board that isn't on the aircraft. There's been several times that I would get on a plane and it wouldn't have this, it wouldn't have that. Something was broken and something was not reported. So you always, always, always want to ensure that um, you 
cross your T's, you dot your I's, and always double check your emergency equipment. That is important. You always want to ensure that um, the safety of the aircraft and um, all the required items on board are checked, double checked, and triple checked. And even when you are leaving the aircraft, ensure that, um, you know, sometimes you think you take things out to use. So just ensure that you pack everything back up both of your phones, your work tablet, chargers, a cardigan, a sweater. If you bring in-flight shoes and you switch out of your heels, ensure that you are packing everything back up because trying to like locate the aircraft the next day, it's like a task. Sometimes things get thrown out, so you just always wanna ensure that you have all of your belongings. But once you get on the line, you kinda of wanna establish one for yourself just to make life easier. My next tip would be to always ensure that your emergency contact information like on your company's website portal is up to date. Um, you know, things happen. Sometimes you lose contact with certain people or um, they're no longer in your life. So you just want to ensure that whoever's on your contact emergency list, that it is updated. Um, always have your phone number updated if you decide to change your number, especially with scheduling. You don't want them to be calling the wrong number and then boom, they assign you a missed trip. So I always ensure that your home address is updated. Um, emergency contact um, and phone numbers are all updated in your website's portal system. My next tip would be to not allow anyone to talk to you any kind of way, whether it be a gate agent, the pilots, your fellow flight attendants, customers, whoever it may be, learn to, you know, have a conversation with them, but if they start getting crazy at the mouth, um, just learn to tell them, hey, I'm willing to talk to you, but I kind of need you to lower it down or I kind of need you to talk to me like I'm a human because I'm not your child. I'm not, you know, we're, we're, we're equals here. So I need you to talk to me and respect me the way that I'm willing to talk to you and respect you. So learn to not internalize things because a lot of people don't know how to work under high stress, high pressure environments and they just don't know how to release all that, you know, frustration that's going on in the moment. So they just feel like, hey, I'm gonna let this out out on the flight attendants. I'm gonna let this out on the ticket agent. Or a customer is gonna be like, hey, I need someone to blame for, you know, this happening, my bag being lost or whatever it may be, the weather delays. So just learn to not internalize things. Learn that, you know, learn to not allow people to step all over you and kind of micromanage you especially on a plane i feel like um sometimes people see someone doing things another way and they feel like it's wrong but it's not wrong this is what works best for me like i've had people tell me that the way i set up my beverage cart is just too much like this is not your beverage cart this is what works for me and this is how i do service so i don't need you to tell me that what i'm doing is wrong i'm not breaking any fars i'm not breaking any rules this is how i prefer my beverage cart to be set up so um and if you walk into a situation, especially as a new hire flight attendant, where you're working with someone who has been with the company for a long time, um, I have worked with some of the sweetest, nicest, genuine senior mamas and senior papas. And senior mama and papas are just those flight attendants who have been with the company for the longest. They have so much seniority. They've been here for 15, 20, 30 plus years. Um, and I've learned a lot from them. And I've also worked with senior mama and papas who weren't the nicest, who weren't the friendliest, who don't know how to get along with everyone, who just are just kind of here, just waiting, you know, to retire, waiting, I don't know, are just here for a check, basically. They've kind of mentally checked out and they don't have a passion for the job anymore. So as a new hire flight attendant, learn to not take any of that personal. Sometimes it's them, it's not you, you know? Sometimes it's just the day, you know? Things happen, we're all humans, but, um, a tip that I can give you is if you are dealing with anything at home or in your personal life, learn to kind of mentally check it at home, check it in your car, check it in the terminal. You know, don't bring it on the plane because any little thing that someone does is going to like trigger you and kind of upset you. So kind of learn to fake the funk in the moment. You get what I'm saying? Like, I know that's not who you are, but just fake the funk just so your day can just go by fast and you can get to your layover and just kind of resolve what you're going through just kind of decompress after a long day so i feel like that all goes hand in hand my next tip for my new hire flight attendants would be to have two sets of hygiene products um have one set at home and have one set in your luggage whatever it may be if you have a first aid kit um, along with having two sets of hygiene products always have like a little sewing kit like in your bags sometimes we bust the button 
um you know sometimes we need to like you know attach our uniform pieces back together some way somehow some hotels usually have like the little sewing kits if not you can go to the store you can go to the dollar store and get one for a dollar along with having um a little sewing kit ensure that you have like fabric tape in your bag fabric tape has helped me so many times along with my dresses my skirts if something has torn i could just tape it up real quick it's like an easy quick fix i don't need an iron it's just like an adhesive um along with sewing kit fabric tape have like a tie pin our white shirts are so unforgiving <laughs> and sometimes you kind of get like a little tomato paste a little cranberry juice orange juice thing when you pop in a can open or you know sometimes little accidents happen so just always have like a little tie pin so you could just dab it up um, if you don't have Tide pens, I know that club sodas and seltzer water works pretty well with like lifting up a stain. My next tip would be to have an extra charger in your bag. Um, I leave one charger at home and I bring one charger on the road along with having um, an extra charger. I usually bring an extension cord in my bag. You will find that some hotels they don't have like a lot of outlets or the nearest outlet is like on the other end of the wall and I want to be in bed and my phone is dead but I still want to be on social media. I just plug in my um, extension cord. It's about, I don't know, it's about like 8, eight 10 feet, 12 feet probably and I have an extension cord um, so I can still be in bed comfortably while charging my phone and using my device. I bring two chargers to charge my personal phone, my work phone and then a charger to charge my um, my headphones and then I bring my computer charger. So I got all my chargers and then I have like a specific bag for my chargers. So if you're someone that carries like a lot of electronic devices, it would be best to get like a um, like a charging case, like a an electronic case just to have everything in one pile. Always, always, always have an extra watch. If you guys have been watching me for a while, you guys would remember when I would leave my watch at home and you guys would always say, Wes, keep an extra watch in your bag. I'm pretty certain most, if not all airlines, having a watch is a required and essential item because in the aviation industry, we're all about time management, getting out on time, being on time. You know, we all about time. So I think having a watch is an essential item as I'm not wearing one, but I'm not at work. <laughs> okay, my next tip, I don't know if many of you guys do this, but you don't even have to be a flight attendant to partake in this. But my next tip would be to um, have a photocopy of your passport. Have a few photocopies of your passport throughout your home, just in case if anything were to happen to you, if someone were to steal your passport or if you were to lose it while in a different country, um, you have access or someone has access to your um, your photocopied past so always bring extra uniform pieces Things happen like I was just saying earlier if you are someone who likes to wear your white shirts Bring a backup and bring a backup for the backup because those white shirts are so unforgiving when I wear my white shirts I usually wash out the collar and I wash out the cuffs um, during my layover and I just hang it up to dry because I'm a clean person, but sometimes when you're sweating, you know, you know sweat, you know, I be, I be sweating from my head and it drips down to my neck and my hair products. So, you know, it be making me seem as though I'm dirty, but I, I ain't dirty, you know, I ain't dirty. <laughs> so just um, always bring a backup for your backup and you can, you know, sometimes wash your white shirts in the tub and the sink. Um, I'm Caribbean, so get to scrubbing. Get to get to scrubbing and rubbing your shirts, okay? Hand wash your shirts. Let them dry like somewhere near where the AC is blowing. If it don't dry in time, like I've woken up some mornings, use the hair dryer to blow out my shirt, and it's gotten the job done. I'm not gonna lie, it did what it needed to do. But you know, some hotels do have washer and dryers, so if you don't mind spending two dollars for like one item to wash and dry, go ahead, be my guest. You know. So that is such a great tip to have, along with bringing extra white shirts, ensure that you're bringing extra undergarments, bring extra socks, bring extra stockings, and again, bring extra undergarments. Have more undergarments than you have clothing. Like. My next tip would be, if you are unsure about something, especially when you're first starting off, it does not hurt to ask 
for help, to ask for reassurance, to ask for understanding, along with asking your fellow colleagues. Some um, bases at some airlines have like mentors to assist you, you know, when you're first starting off. Um, some airlines have like special assignment flight attendants to also assist you, answer any questions that you may have. And you also have your handy dandy flight attendant manual um, book. Different airlines call it different things, but it's basically a work tablet, whether it be a hard copy book, a work tablet, or a work phone that has um, information that you could go back and reference. Um, don't guess. If you don't know something, look it up. Um, ask. Uh, do the proper research because you always want to go in um, understanding what you are doing. Along with knowing your flight attendant um, manual book, it's also good to know your contract. If you are unionized and you guys have a contract, um, go through your work rules, read over your work rules, just in case scheduling is trying to pull a fast one on you. You could be like, ah, 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 page six, section eight, line two, da, 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 da. It says you can't do this, so don't try to pull this on me. My next tip would be to always ensure that you have set your alarm. Double check that you set your alarm, triple check that you have set your alarm, and go back and check it again because the last thing that you want to do is mix up your room number for the van time or the van time for your room number or whatever it may be. Just always ensure that you have um, set an alarm. Don't rely on wake up calls because wake up calls have failed me. If you would like to do a wake up call, don't let that be your only source of an alarm. Um, double check that you have set your personal phone, the clock in the room, or your backup phone. Have them alarm set because you do not want your crew to be calling you and you're still in your room, like dead sleep, like knocked out. That has been me before. It's a horrible feeling knowing that you are late. You're trying to get your life together in such a short period of time. It's like everything is just going wrong. And along with setting your alarm, Ensure that you pack up most, if not all, of your things the night before. Because if you happen to wake up late, that's one less thing that you have to do. Iron your uniform the night before because if you happen to wake up late, that's one less thing that you have to do. So I have experience being like dead asleep and my phone ringing off the hook and I picked it up and hung it up because I'm like, who's calling me? I'm trying to sleep. And then you're like, hold on now, I've been sleeping a little too long. And it's your pilots telling you, hey girl, where you at? Or your flight attendant, hey girl, where you at? We downstairs. And I'm trying to like rush. I gotta do a little panic circle around in the room, walk back and forth a few times, and then I start to get my life together. Most, if not all of us have been there just rushing to get out on time because you never want a delay to be put on you okay and it helps if you have a great crew that's gonna have your back and you know tell the gate agent that uh you in the bathroom or you come in you're not feeling the best but it sucks when your crew throws you under the bus and says yeah she late that doesn't help so if you have a great crew an understanding crew because we've all been there done that it definitely helps if your flight attendant goes and does your pre-flight so when you come on board we could just board and push that flight out on time it definitely helps it definitely helps um, be careful who you are venting to would be my next tip just because someone has a set of open ears doesn't mean that they have an open heart um watch what you say how you say it and who you say it to because you would think that you're just venting to someone and it's staying between the two of you. And the next thing you know, management is calling you, um, trying to figure out what's going on here because they just got like a tip on you. Um, not everyone has your best interests at heart. Um, not everyone is gonna have your back like you have your own back. So just be mindful of what you say um, and who you say it to and what you do and who you do it in front of. All right, so the next tip, whether you are becoming a flight attendant or just traveling for leisure, is just to update your bank um, whenever you will be out of the country. Um, as a flight attendant, when I first got hired, I told my bank that I'm going to be a flight attendant. I changed my occupation and told them, I gave them a call and told them to put a note on my file that I will be traveling to different cities, different states, <laughs> different countries. Um, and because I have been a victim to fraud before, you know they're very my bank is very sensitive like on anything that looks too suspicious so um something else that i also do is i get text alerts sent to my phone anytime that my card is being swiped i don't know i know probably most banks offer this feature so this is something that i do because sometimes i do lose track of where i am and how much money i spent 
something else that I also do is I get uh, my balance for the start of the day sent to my phone every morning and then I also get alerts anytime that my card is being used and I also get alerts when I get a deposit so when my job pays me or if someone sends me money I get an alert saying you got some activities going on but this is a great tip to have especially when you're first starting off and I have two more tips for you all this video is probably long but I just want to ensure that my new hire flight attendants are getting these tips and if you are happening to buy uniform pieces from a fellow coworker, please ask them if they have a smoke-free home. It's nothing like buying uniform pieces from someone and their clothes smell of straight nicotine. It is so hard to get um, the smell of cigarettes off of clothing. Um, no judgment to anyone that smokes, but if I buy something from someone and I'm spending my money on it, I don't want it to smell like nicotine because we live in a smoke-free house and I, I can't do that. Like I have such a strong sense of smell that it's gonna bother me. It does not hurt to ask. Like that is very important information. And then my last tip would be after a long day of flying or after a crappy day, or even if you had a great day, journal it. You know, let it out, write it on a piece of paper. Um, if you forget your journal, write it in your notes just to let all that feeling off of your heart. Because I know recently I just worked a trip and I felt like it was supposed to be a smooth day and everything that could have went wrong went wrong. So I'm so glad that I journaled my feelings. I'm so glad that I was able to release um, all of the negativity of that day um, just so I don't bring it onto my layover and also so I don't bring that energy home. Um, the last thing that you ever want to do is just keep something on your mind that you just needed to just let go of. Um, it's just going to drain you of your day. It's going to drain you of your trip because all you're going to think about is this certain situation and you don't want that for yourself. And I don't want that for you. So just get into journaling. If you got a diary, um, write it out. If you want to write it in your notes, just let it go. Um, just be free of the situation. All right, Roach Howlers, that is all that I have for this new hire flight attendant tips video. Please let me know if you like this video. Be sure to comment a pen emoji. Um, just let me know that you watched this video throughout. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for Vlogtober Day 13. Bye, bye. <laughs>